There's so many things happening in our Denver real estate market right now. And we have inflation, as you know. We got high gas prices, food's high, and lots of things. Cost of living is getting very, very expensive. And buyers are wondering if should I buy a home now? Should I wait? Is the market gonna crash? You have sellers, should I put my home on the market or should I wait? So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Denver real estate market update and what you as a buyer or seller should do right now. Hi, my name is Deepa Phillips, your Denver real estate agent. If it's your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome to YouTube channel. If you're a person who's trying to buy a home or sell a home or invest and just needs help, I'm just trying to be a great resource for you because anything you need, I want to be your realtor for life. And before you, you do anything, please make sure you subscribe to my channel or like it. And I'm putting content on content each week. And I just want to educate you what's going on in the Denver market. All right, buyers. You're trying to figure out, what should I do in this Denver market? Should I buy a home or should I wait? So, hear me out. Yes, we know interest rates are high. But the good news is, in the past couple of weeks, interest rates are starting to go down. And their inventory is increasing in the Denver metro area. And what sellers are doing is that they're putting... Most, a lot of sellers are putting a home on the market, but the sellers are not getting the offers like they did early this year or last year. Because what the sellers would do, they'll put a home on the market within the weekend, they get offer. But right now, for the sellers, is that they put the home on the market and they're not getting offers until like two or three weeks in the home. So if you're a buyer out there and you're trying to buy a home, it's a great time to buy. And the cool thing for you buyers is that seller concessions are coming back right now. Because we know early this year or last year, seller concessions it was not going to happen. You had to wait contingencies. But right now, if you're a buyer, it's a great time for you to buy a home. So detached homes for active listings is about fifty six fifty. It's up twenty percent from last month. Closed homes three thousand and ten down twenty one percent. Close average price homes is seven hundred eighty one thousand and down 3.14% in June because the average price was $800,000. So this is the average price of homes. I guess average price of homes started up to like 800 early June. Now we're in August and starting to go down. The reason why, because sellers are trying to put their home on the market at these high premium prices, and they're seeing that they are not getting the offers that they want for buyers to buy the home. And what they're doing is they start doing price reductions and doing price reductions. So buyers, as I said, great time for you to buy. If you're in the market, go get homes because, yes, we know rates are high. But at the end of the day, you just don't want to wait because home prices are will fluctuate, go up and down and can't determine where the market is going to be. But yes, I know rates are high, but when rates are start to go down, you want to refinance. Just don't be that buyer that you throw money and rent and think about that. Buy a home now and within a year, see how much you, you would get for equity. And, and compare that if you're renting and you can do apples to apples and you're going to win more about buying a home because you're building equity on that property. So buyers, mark is not a crash. We are not in a bubble. From 2008 to 2012, what happened in the market is that we had 36,000 active listings and the buyer demand was low. Today, we have 6,000 active listings of right now. Buyer demand is high, but not as high like it was in previous months or last year because of low interest rates. We had double appreciation in the Denver market for about 10 years in a row. Lots of equity because in the past two years, it's about a lot of people got about $200,000 of equity in their property. And for us to you know, have a crash, we're going to have negative appreciation. And the last four out of six recessions, home prices increases. So buyers, these are statistics. And if you're a person who wants to learn more information, please 
leave a comment below and I'd be glad to show you charts and help you out. All right, sellers, hear me out. Yes, it's still seller's market because inventory for homes is about two to three months of supply. So seller's market. For us to be a neutral market, we need about six, between six to eight months to be a neutral market. And we're still three months of, of um, inventory to be a seller's market. Average days of home right now is about 13 days. And lots of sellers are putting their home right now trying to get a lot of money like previous sellers did earlier this year and last year. And the reason why sellers got fifty to hundred thousand dollars over asking price because the buyer traffic was a lot a lot more going to the homes and the rates were a lot lower. Now with the rates being high, the buyer traffic is not as high and sellers are not getting that multiple or multiple offers on their home. And yes, sellers, you Saw how people were getting the homes under contract within two to four days. But right now, it's taking a lot longer because with the rates being high and the buyer traffic is a lot low. And for sellers, if you want to market your home, you might have to probably do 5 to 7% a little bit lower to try to get the buyer traffic to your home. And also... If you want to sell your home, try to put it on the market now because after Labor Day, the traffic for people buying a home is going to be a lot calmer. Buyers, sellers, investors, you still have any more questions what's going on in the Denver real estate market, please book a call on the bottom of this link is YouTube channel. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it, like it, share it with your peers, and thanks again for your time.